Hello again everybody, this is Simon Max one coming back to you again for another quick tutorial for the Smart Photo Editor. Hopefully you've enjoyed my first and second video that I've done. Uh, the first one was on landscaping and the second one is basically on uh, portrait and my third one that I'm uh, done here for you is also on, uh, on portrait but just a little different effects. Uh, just going through some tutorials here to show you what this program that I use uh, besides my Photoshop and my Lightroom and uh, other programs that I use for photo editing. Uh, as you know, I am a, a photographer and uh, I use this program uh, a lot for some of my work and for my clients and they seem to enjoy the effects that I, uh, that I do for them or the enhancement for their photography. Uh, uh, as far as um, uh, uh, the program, I uh, just want to let you know that uh, I am using a large format uh, uh, camera here. I use a Canon. It's a professional camera. Uh, so some of the effects that I'm doing, uh, if you're having problems with your uh, photos, that they, they don't look right or it's pixelated, it's because due to the ca camera that you're using, I know some of you use a lot of iPhone or your camera phone or, or your phone uh, uh, as your camera for your photos um, uh, or just using a, a, a normal everyday camera that uh, shoots in a, in a smaller size. So I just want to let you know that my format is very large and that it does make a difference. So if you're having any problems or issues with that, please leave a comment. I'll be glad to help you out. Okay. I also want to let you know that this photo on my desktop that you see is from my last trip to Vegas. Um, it's a, a picture of New York, New York, and this effect was actually done on Smart Photo Editor, okay? So let's go ahead and, and, and get started here. I'm going to click on the icon, and as you can see, it loads up pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and add an image here. Uh, you've probably seen this model. Uh, her name is Florida. She came uh, all the way from Chicago to do a photo shoot with me, so I'm going to go ahead and bring her photo up here. Now, as you can see, this is a large format. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. You can see that, uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty much a, a big photo here that we're working with. Okay. So this is a rough, uh, photo of her. I haven't done anything to it. Uh, now the first thing I want to, I want to do is go to the effect gallery here. And then I'm going to click on the grid view here. And the first effect I want to use is this skin and hair smooth retain detail one. Uh, you can go ahead and play with the sliders and change the effect as you wish. But uh, normally the people who design these, um, you know, I normally leave them or tweak them every once in a while uh, to my liking. So uh, I like this effect the way it is. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go ahead and confirm it. And as you can see, it uh, really kind of smooth out her skin and, and uh, let's go ahead and zoom in and show you uh, how smooth her skin is now compared to the original image uh, to right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and, uh, and bring it back to the way it was. And the second effect I'm going to go ahead and add here um, it's going to be the pop one, which is right next to it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, it makes the picture just pop out. So this is the uh, second effect. This is the original second effect, third effect. Okay. So if you're happy with this, just go ahead and hit file and save as JPEG or TIFF file anywhere in your computer. Now, uh, another thing that I want to show you is another effect so you can have fun with your photos. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click the gallery again, and uh, this effect is called, I believe it's uh, uh, Bitbox Grungy uh, Watercolor Effect. Uh, let me see, go ahead and find it here for you. Uh, they add so many different effects on this uh, program that it, sometimes it switches the page. So here's the effect that I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and bring it up. Okay. And before I confirm it, I'm going to go ahead and tweak it. I'm going to go ahead and get the variation a little bit different here. I'm going to turn down the green, bring out some purples here, and maybe 
maybe the gamma a little bit, uh, just to kind of pop it out a little bit. And right there, I'm going to hit confirm and there you go. So if you're happy with this look, um, or this effect, go ahead and, and, uh, and like I said, go to file and save it. Uh, if you are not happy with this effect, you can hit the X up here to eliminate the effect, or you can hit undo. Okay. So again, uh, thank you for watching this video. I uh, just thought I'd do a quick tutorial, um, uh, on this, uh, great program that I use. I will leave the link below here for the website, um, for smart photo editor. I believe it's on sale right now. Um, depending on when you're watching this video, uh, when I bought the program three years ago, it was, uh, I believe, uh, uh, $59 or something like that. And I believe it's on sale for $29.95 right now. If you hurry up and click on their website and download this program, I guarantee you that you're not going to be disappointed. Okay. So again, this is Simon Max one for Simon Max photography. Thank you for watching the art of Sam on my YouTube channel. Please go ahead and click on some of these videos and make comments uh, and hopefully you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.